Hello guys, welcome back to another 3D modeling tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to model this gear with FreeCAD 1.0. Let's get started. Pick parametric part template. I am on part design workbench. To start the model, I am going to create a profile sketch and then revolve it around the axis. So let's click on create sketch tool and pick exit plane to create the profile sketch. Click on rectangle command. Click on the origin and type 15 mil for the width and 30 mil for the height. Draw another rectangle starting on this line and type 60 mil for the width and 10 mil for the height. Right click to exit the command. Click on Dimensions command to add dimension. Type 10 mil. Click on Trim command and click twice on this line to remove the lines. Once you remove the lines, the sketch lost some constraints. To fix this, just click and drag any lines to see if they are not connected. Then apply the constraints. Let's connect these lines by adding coincident constraint. Click on this tool and click on both points. Let's add vertical constraint to this line. Still it's not fully constrained. Let's add equal constraints to these two lines to make them the same length. Now it is fully constrained. Close the window and click on revolve command. Click OK. Now I'm going to add a hole for the shaft. Pick this top face and click on create sketch. Click on create circle command and draw a circle at the origin. Type 20 mil for the diameter. Close the window. Click on pocket command and pick through all option and click OK. Pick this edge and click on the chamfer command. Pick two distances option from this drop down and type 15 for size 1 and 2 for size 2. You may see the effect on the model. If not, click on this icon to flip the sizes. Click OK. Do the same for the other side. Pick this edge. Click on chamfer command and type same values. Click OK. Pick this face. Click on create sketch. Click on this command to create preference sketch from existing solid. Click on these two edges. Right click to exit. Click on line command and draw two lines like this. Make sure the lines snap on reference lines. Right click to exit the command. Pick these two points and this axis and click on this constraint to make the line symmetric. Do the same for the bottom side of the line.
click on dimension command and click on these points and type 15. Do the same for the bottom and type 6. Click on create arc by three points and click on this point and this point and click somewhere here. Do the same for the bottom end. Click on equal constraint tool and click on these two lines. Close the window. Pick the pocket command and make it through all. Click OK. Pick these two edges and click on chamfer command. Change to two dimension option. Enter three for size one and leave the one for size two. Click OK. Click on top view. Select both of these and pick polar pattern command. Change number of occurrences to 22. Click OK. Check the model. Now I'm going to add keyway. Pick this face, click on create sketch command, and pick centered rectangle command from this drop down menu. Draw a rectangle on this axis like this. Type 3 for the width and 5 for the height. Right click to exit and click on dimension command to add dimension to this rectangle from the origin. Type 12. Close the window. Click pocket command to make the cutout. Click through all option. Click OK. The model is now completed. Thanks for watching my video. I will be adding more videos soon. Please subscribe so you will not miss my videos. See you soon.